All right, afternoon guys. Uh, yeah, Sunday afternoon, 21st of April. Uh, I thought I'd make an attempt or make a start on the uh, water butt the, uh, for the drain off or discharge. I was trying to set up, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, for discharges the border. So I'm basically cutting up all the pipe work now, spinning around in a minute. Uh, I'm only, uh, not sure, temporarily putting connection it up as in dry fit and leave it like that. But I see how it goes when I do a discharge, see when he leaks. But I have smeared uh, Vaseline man the uh, ends of the pipe and into the uh, fittings and joints. So I'll spin you around and I'll show you how far I got up to. I did have one fuck up and I'll show you that in a minute. So guys, that's uh, so my first barrel yeah from the pond, down to the middle one, and the third one, then back to the uh, pond. I've got as far as that, so I've got to get an offset, which is go around this plant, and back into the border that way. So hence, the border gets some watering. Uh, what I would uh, advise or recommend as I said I made a fuck up earlier because where these uh, obviously fittings are tight and they're snug as a bug I I forced one in on the tee there which was meant to go at the end there because I wanted like to uh, leave an open end for like rotting I don't think I need it but I couldn't do it now so I put an elbow there yeah, as I said like another tee there but while I push the fittings in you probably can't see it there. It cracked, it split it. So yeah, just be careful guys when you're sort of like forcing the pipe work into these fittings. Either make sure they're the right size first, or do what I've done. Smear Vaseline around the ends and in the joints. So that's all gone as snug as a bug now. So basically that's how far I've got in the moment. So I'm gonna leave that there for the time being. And what I do is, I'll continue on around there, around this tree, see how far I get. All right, catch you in a minute. All right, guys, this is my section done around that bush. So I've got two offsets there. And basically, that, run, that runs down. What we'll do, onto the board up. I don't know whether, let's get another Cut them off sets just to tuck it further back so it's not seen up against the back wall. Yeah, I might do that. Let's get a cut of offsets. The wicks is tomorrow. I'm running along the back wall, or the close to the back wall. So yep, yeah, that's my uh, progress for today for the discharge to water the border. Uh, nothing much, nothing exciting, but pass of the time. All right guys, loaders. Well guys, <coughs> excuse me, I did manage to find another two inch and a half elbows, so as I said, I'll sit there, come down, return, and I'll take it into the back wall, it's a second elbow fan, so basically what I need to do is get a cut of lengths, a pipe, run against that back wall there, and what I do is I'll put it do that like sort of three sections, probably get it halfway there, and I'll put an elbow on it. So basically when I drain the first barrel through that area, I'll just connect it, another piece of pipe, whack the elbow on to my sort of like middle of the border. It's around about here, sorry. Then I'll do the middle barrel into that, that's sort all of like that water area, disconnect it. Work another piece of pipe on, and the very last section again, put the elbow back on, and that water area. So, basically, all that border there gives a good feed of pond water. So, yeah, guys, that's it. <coughs> 